Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be covering data recovery. Now we're going to be having a look at a piece of software that you can get for about 39 bucks, which is not bad if you want to do some data recovery of your photographs, uh, video, audio and stuff like that. Okay. Now there's loads of software out there that uh, does a scanning of um, drives to try and recover data and some are better than others. Uh, so what we're going to do is have a look at a piece of software here which is around about 39 bucks of making this video. It's called Stellar Phoenix Photo Recovery and uh, we're going to have a blast with this and see if we can find uh, some MTS files which are files which are the ones that are on your camcorder. Now these are AVCHD files basically so they're the ones that we're going to be looking for on, on our machine here. So let's get started anyway. So how do we go about doing date recovery? Well there's numerous different scenarios that you're going to have to sort of take into hand really. Uh, if you've got a drive that's dying, uh, you may have one stab at trying to open up that system and try to get your data off. Okay. Now sometimes you don't need to use date recovery software. You may have data on that drive uh, where you can boot up and try and pull the uh, data off okay, into a live CD or stuff like that. But if the drive is dying and it's very, very temperamental, you've got to be very careful okay? because once that drive dies, the data recovery process is going to cost you a lot of money because it's then done in a different way. So by using software, we have a drive here which is F, G and I. That's one drive, okay? that's from another machine that's now been plugged into this machine as a slave basically and uh, you can see the C drive is now turned to F drive okay there's one rule of thumb here that if you are scanning for rec uh, to recover data if you've got one drive which is IE your C drive and you've got a partition in it called E you can't um, recover data from the C drive and put it back onto the C drive if that makes sense so if you've got one drive and you want to recover data from that drive and put it on your C drive, you can't do it. It needs to be a separate drive there, okay? So that's what's going to be your best bet. So either ex to recover it onto an external drive or stuff like that, and, and you should be pretty much good to go. It will recognize it and say you are using one drive, and uh, then it will warn you that this is not a good idea to do, okay? So this is the... Uh, method we're going to use here we're going to be scanning the F drive now these do take a long time these scans so bear that in mind okay so also what we're going to do here is fire up our program and once we've got this open this is what we're going to be looking at here this is called uh, the Stellar Phoenix Photo Recovery Suite, as you can see, is pretty straightforward, nothing too fancy, and uh, that's exactly um, what you want, really, if you're a bit of a novice. So you've got uh, two options here, where you can create an image, you can recover photos and audio and video from here by clicking this button, or you can resume a recovery. So if you started a recovery process and then you wanted to re resume that, you can also do that by clicking on that button there. Now, when we click on this, it will show us our drives that we have on our system okay so what we're looking for is the drive that we want to scan in this case I'm going to be scanning say the F drive so I'm going to select the F drive and then I'm going to click on either you can either click on scan now and let it do its job or you can click on advanced now advanced gives you a load of options you can either just scan for photographs audio or video which I think is quite a nice little touch if you're a bit of a novice and you want to just Go, uh, concentrate your scan on one area so for instance if you can see all the ticks are in here and it's going to search for all these file formats okay and there's a lot of file formats there that it's trying to search for okay so if you've got a Kodak it will start searching for those Kodak extensions and uh, so this is really sort of gunning for uh, the audio video and uh, photo format that you're trying to scan for okay so here we can uh, tick this box here and remove all these ticks if we're not interested in the photos, okay? Also for the audio tab, if you look here, you can see the audio formats that it's going to search for is quite extensive. Now we can remove those if we're not interested in scanning for audio. So what you want to do here is come down to where it says video and if you, this is where you're looking for, if you're looking for video files, then this is the place you want to be scanning. Okay, it's no good going for a big long scan, 
to search every single file format because that will take a longer time. So we're just going to concentrate on a particular type of file format. And it tells you the extensions here. And we're interested in uh, MTS, okay, which is the AVCHD video file. So what we can do is remove all these and just put one tick into that. And that will now just search the whole drive for this particular uh, file format, okay. And it will go through the whole drive or the whole of the F drive uh, to try and find MTS files. So that's what we're interested in here. But if you are interested in other areas you can do that now you also got the select range here but we're just going to leave that as is we're going to select the whole uh, starting sector to end sector and you can see this is where it is here and we're going to go back to this and then press scan now and this will run a scan okay now you can see that's 488.28 gigabytes in size which is a pretty hefty partition to scan so this could take a good few hours okay so bear that in mind you want to make sure that you've got no antivirus programs running or any background scans or anything like that that can interfere with it just let it do its scan okay now remember also if you are using a docking station a USB docking station that's going to take time to travel through a USB uh, cable to scan that drive it will be a bit slower so it's good to have it plugged into a machine that allows you to scan at a faster rate so we'll just let this run and uh, we'll come back once it starts to scan now it takes a bit of time to get started but once it gets started it will start building up a little tree system here so once that scan starts to get started you'll see it start to build this little tree on the side here and uh, depending on what you're scanning for, this will be the account that it's a scanning OK for. Now you can see here we've got uh, the clusters that is reading. Okay, and you can see there's a hefty old size there that it's got to get to the end of. Okay, and there's quite a few zeros there. So this will take some time. It's building up its little file structure here and it will go through its scanning process. Now if this ever pauses or anything like that, make sure if you've got your system running that if you've got it go to sleep or stuff that put the hard drive to sleep it will stop okay so you need to make sure that you've got your uh, uh, without going to sleep here because you don't want this to happen you can turn the monitor off but just leave the system running now also a thing to remember is if you don't know uh, you can look at the resource monitor here if it ever pauses and you can see if you look at the disk tab this is on your computer if you look at your disk tab here you will see that there is Stellar Phoenix Photo Recovery Suite and you can see the reads and writes happening on that drive okay so it may be paused for a while you can check the CPU and the disk activity from here just to make sure that it is running still okay and it more than likely is is just sometimes going for a process that it's uh, trying to search for files so that's another area you can look at okay okay so that's the scan uh, complete I've cut the scan short now what's happened is here you can see it's built up a little tree of files that you can see here uh, files and folders that it's found on that drive okay so remember if you leave this to run for a long period of time uh, it will find a lot more data than this okay I've stopped mine I've already got my data back uh, what I wanted but I thought it'd be a great video to show you of the way you can do it okay so you can see there's a file structure here and you can click on these and once you click on these you can see the files that it's found and it's just found MTS files okay now obviously if you've got other particular types of files on there that you've been searching for it will find those as well okay and it will try to give you the date there and the size of the file and the kind of file and you can see it's .mts and you can see the big amount of list of files there okay now also if you go through each folder you will see different types of stuff that it has found on that system and this folder here is another area you may have a big list of stuff if you leave this scan to run it will find deeper files into that drive that's been deleted previously and there would be a big list there was in mine and in my case anyway okay so what you want to do is once you want to recover these if you do want to recover them uh, what happens is you can select 
which files you want to recover. Let's just say we want to do Samsung here. We can put the tick in in that box and then click on recover. It will ask you to select a partition where you want to put that. Now, if you've got an external drive, that's your best bet. Um, I would definitely do that but if you can already see I've already got some files here recovered so I'm going to go to the H partition which is its own drive and there's a uh, 684 gigabytes of uh, space on that drive and it's empty and it will then start to take the files that it's recovered from that drive onto your new drive okay now bearing in mind that your drive may be dying and it may die halfway through the process or if you're lucky you may get all your data off okay so once you've transferred your files across that you want to save okay by putting your ticks into the files that you want to save you can then go to that location and it will be your H drive because that's the place you've put it and you will see it say something like root and then either the MTS folder uh, that you can see which has got all these files here which has been recovered now some of them may be damaged, which may be these files here that are damaged that won't open, okay? And this is common, it's gone deep onto the drive and recovered these. Now sometimes that has happened to me before, where you can't recover these. And some of these are very small, as you can see, and they're not actual video files. They're just uh, .mts files, but look at the size of them. They're very, very tiny. So let me have a look at the folder area. And uh, we could go to here, and as you can see, it will start to look like this, and then it will start to load these up. These are large files, okay? And once you get that done, you can click on this, and it should load that file up. And there you go, you will have your videos back, okay, and recovered. And that's basically how you can recover files from a drive mate that may be dying um, or maybe uh, you formatted or something like that okay now once you close this off you've got an option here to save this so you can resume the recovery at a later date if you don't want to then you can click no and that will close that off and then that will be the end you would have to restart your scan again so that's basically how you can recover all your holiday photos and videos and all your music from a drive that may be dying or it may be the case that you formatted it and stuff like that okay now do bear in mind that sometimes if a drive is failing it may you may want to seek uh, a technician's advice before you start uh, scanning on that drive because that could put some serious stress on the drive and kill the drive completely okay so just bear that in mind anyway I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, by all means, try the freeware software first that you may be wanting to try because that may work for you. And if that doesn't work, you can always uh, go to the next step and just try and get the next cheapest bit, which is something like this. Okay. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.